template literals. Template literals are string literals allowing embedded expressions. You can use multi-line strings and string interpolation features with them. Uh, template literals are enclosed by this ba the back tick, which um, the back tick key is right next to the one on the keyboard. First, I want to show you multi-line strings. Now, you can see this, this is on two different lines in the console. Normally, it, you can't just um, put extra lines and have it make a new line in the console. If I put a few more lines like this, you can see it's going to put a lot of lines in between these two lines. Another thing you can do with template literals are, is expression interpolation. Let me give you an example of that. So if I run this, you can see ex the expression interpolation happens with these symbols. There's a, a dollar sign and then these uh, squiggly brackets. And in, anything inside the dollar sign and the squiggly brackets, it's going to evaluate and put the answer um, right into your string. Uh, same with right over here. And you can see that it adds a plus b, 5 plus 8, we get the 15 over here. And that does also 2 times a plus b over here to get the 20. You can still use the, the new line um, just like you would do in a regular string. You don't have to um, give it a new line, but that would work. If I just put new, a new line just like that, you can see it's going to be exactly the same. The next thing I want to talk to you about is tagged template literals. This is basically passing a template literal into a function. Let me show you. So I have my function written, and now I'm going to pass a template literal into that function. The function is called tag, but it doesn't matter what the function is called. And let me run that. So you can see the last two lines here is, is what happens from the, this tag template literal example. It's going to run the function tag, and it's going to input, input this temp, template literal. All the strings go into this strings array, and the values go into the value array. If you have dot, 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 that just means a, a, an array here. So the strings you can see are hello. There's also, so you can see the hello here. And then world, right there, is right here in the, in the console. And then there's nothing right between this last expression and the back tick. There's nothing there, so that's shown in the console with an empty string. Now you can see the values in the console, 15 and 50. Well, it passes in the expressions as the values. So this gets passed in as 15 because 5 plus 10 is 15, and then this gets passed in as 50. So it, it goes through the whole template literal. First it takes out the strings, and then it takes out the, the values as, as the expressions. In this function, I had return JS nuggets, but it's not, uh, we're not doing anything with that, so we can do this. If we console.log this, and then we run this, you can see that it's going to print, print JS nuggets at the end. Now, I want to show you a more complicated way of using tag template literals. Okay, this code I copied right from the Mozilla Developer Network page on template literals and this code right here and I just want to walk you through it um, this is the function and we're gonna ha have this uh, we're gonna assign this variable down here t1 closure to uh, this the function template and we're gonna pass in this template literal here I'm going to uncomment out this console.log and we're going to run this, and we're going to look at the very bottom where it says, yay. So when we passed in, uh, we called the t1 variable, and we passed in the letters y and a, it print, printed yay. Let's walk through why that actually happened. Um, in our previous example of the tag template literals, we returned a string. But you don't have to return a string because in this function, we actually return a function. The strings and the keys from the, uh, that we pass into the original function are right here. So uh, we're, we're passing in this template literal that, that gets broken into the strings and the keys. 
then we are down here we're calling the t1 closure variable and we're passing the y and the a into the function that's being returned by the template one way to help you understand this better is we're going to console.log the strings here and the keys I'm going to comment out this and I'm going to run it and you can see at the bottom the strings here when you console.log the strings that's blank blank string blank string exclamation park uh, exclamation point because there's it gives you a blank string because there's nothing between these um, the, these expressions in the template literal and then we have the exclamation point at the end and then it, it's 0 1 0 that's what we get when we pass in these expressions 0 1 0 that's the keys from here so now we're going to return this this function and the values from this function come from the y and the a so let's go through this var dict equals values so we're, we're going to the values array and we're finding this index values uh, dot length minus one so that's going to be the last item in the values array so remember the values array is y a and the last value is a so we now now var result equals an array, you can see it's surrounded by these brackets, and inside the array, array we're going to access this other array, the strings array, which is right over here. If you look in the console.log, the array at index 0 is nothing, so the result is going to currently equal nothing. Now keys.for each. So we're going to loop through each of the keys. Now remember the keys, if you look at the console, the keys array are 0, 1, 0. For each key, we're on the, the first key, 0, var value equals number dot is integer key. So is 0 a number? Yes, it is a number. And in fact, 0, 1, 0, those are all numbers. So this is a ternary operator. If the, it is a number and all of these are numbers, we're going to do the first thing before the colon. If they weren't a number, we would do the second thing. If you look at uh, down at line 43, at one of these examples, um, we have something that's not a number but for this example all of them are numbers so we are going to go to the values array and go to the index of the key remember the values array is right here y a and we have the index um, the first the first key is zero so that would be y and this is result dot push the value and that value is going to be y and then we're also going to push the strings array i plus 1. So our i is 0, so that would be 1. The strings array is right over here. 0 plus 1 is going to be a, still an empty string, so it's not going to push anything. So this is going to just push y. Now I'm going to go through it again, and we're going to use the next key, which is 1. So the next key, 1, is going to... Uh, bring up the a here and when it does result dot push value it's going to push the, the a in here and that's going to go through a third time we have the key 0 which is going to go back to the y and this time we're going to push the y and we, when we go to strings i plus 1 well i plus 1 is going to be 2 plus 1 which is going to be 3 so this is the strings array this time it's not going to push on an empty string it's going to push on the exclamation point at the very end and then return results dot join so we have an array which is just y a y exclamation points and when we join each item in the array it's going to put all into one string and that's how we get yay for the string at the end now if I uncomment out these and run this you can see that this is going to do that it's going to go through the same thing but it's going to you're going to eventually get to this hello world and if you want to go through individually and see how that all works out you can thanks for watching my name is Bo Carnes check the description for links to more information please subscribe and remember use your code for good